Government Secretary met his Indian counterpart, Mr. Jayashankar, in New York uh, for the Quad meeting. Did he raise the issue of Canadian allegations with the India? That was not a bilateral meeting. It was a meeting of a number of countries, and it did not come up in that meeting. We have engaged with our Indian counterparts uh, on this issue and urged them to fully cooperate with the Canadian investigation. When Secretary met his Indian counterpart, Mr. Jayashankar, in New York uh, for the Quad meeting, did he raise the issue of Canadian allegations with the India? Uh, did he raise the issue of what? The Canadian allegations? Uh, no, it, not in that meeting. It was a um, uh, that was not a bilateral meeting. It was a meeting of a number of countries, and it did not come up in that meeting. But we have engaged with our Indian counterparts uh, on this issue and urged them to fully cooperate with the Canadian investigation. And the minister is going to be here in the city this week. Uh, the, the secretary has plans to meet him and raise Tomorrow. this issue again. Yeah. yeah. And what? Will he be raising this issue with the with Mr. Uh, Jashankar? I don't want to preview the comment, what the what the conversations he will have in that meeting. But as we've made clear, we've raised this. Uh, we have engaged with our Indian counterparts on this and encouraged them to cooperate with the in Canadian investigation. And we continue to encourage them so to cooperate. What engagement you had with the Indians? Do you see sense of cooperation from them? Uh, I'm not going to read it. In, I'm not going to speak to our private diplomatic conversations. One, we told the Canadians that uh, this is not the government of India's policy. Two, we told the Canadians saying that, look, if you have something specific, if you have something relevant, you know, let us know. We are open to looking at it. So, but to, you know, to understand the context of it, uh, in a way, you know, because the picture is not complete without the context in a way, you also have to appreciate, Ken, that uh, in the last uh, uh, few years, uh, Canada actually has seen a lot of organized crime, uh, you know, relating to, you know, the secessionist uh, uh, forces, organized crime, violence, extremism. They're all very, very deeply mixed up. So, in fact, we have been, you know, talking about specifics and information. We have actually been badgering the Canadians. Uh, we have given them a lot of uh, information about uh, organized crime leadership, which operates out of Canada. Uh, uh, there are uh, a large number of extradition requests. Uh, there are terrorist leaders uh, who have been identified. Uh, so uh, do understand that there is an environment out there. So that is important in a way to uh, to factor in, if you have to understand uh, what what is uh, uh, going on out there, and our concern is that uh, you know it's it's really been very permissive uh, because of uh, political reasons. Uh, so we have a situation where actually our uh, diplomats are threatened, uh, our consulates have been attacked, uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and often comments are made about, uh, you know, there's interference in our uh, politics. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of this is often justified uh, as saying, well, that's how democracies work. But if there are specific pieces of evidence that they provide, the government of India will cooperate with them in terms of I mean, look, if, if somebody gives me something specific, uh, it doesn't have to be restricted to Canada. Uh, but if there's any incident which, uh, you know, is an issue uh, uh, and somebody gives me something specific as a government, I would look at it.